What's up, everybody? Sin Daddy here. Uh, I figure, since, you know, getting into cigars, I could maybe add a little bit to our YouTube page here. So today, I am going to be smoking on, and you can't really see that's not going to focus well, the La Antigüedad from My Father's Cigar. This is a Nicaraguan blend, uh, full strength, because, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, uh, full strength cigar. Um, with Nicaraguan wrap, wrappers, um, it is a follow-up to a different one that I don't know anything about because I just got into this shit. But uh, it's nice and dark. Um, pretty excited about it. So since this is my first time doing one of these videos, I would, I think it'd be a good idea for me to show you how I personally light cigars. There's a million different ways, a million different cuts. There's the hold on one, one second. Welcome back. So there is the V cut, which is what this cutter does right here, right? That cuts a little V into the cap. Um, it's pretty good, I guess. I'm not a humongous fan of the V cut. It's not too bad. Uh, there's a punch, which just punches a straight up hole. A lot of guys will actually use a 5.56 five, shell uh, or 223 maybe and punch a hole just there you go i personally like traditional the uh straight across cut which does exactly what it does so the first thing i like to do i like to take it what they call toast the foot take your lighter uh use a butane lighter or if you have the time and you're traditional you do what's called the three match method or uh, if you're extremely hipster you light a piece of cedar on fire and light it with that I'm using B tank because it's 20 fucking 20. So what we're doing is toasting the foot. You want to come out at about a 45 degree angle, a good distance away because you don't want to ruin the, you want to just burn your shit. So what you're doing, you're going to light it and you let it work. Let it do its job. You let the heat. My lighter is out of control right now. But uh, normally you don't do that. So you want to light the toast the foot, get a nice foot. I like to blow on it there we go yeah make I need a new lighter so I like to blow on it to make sure it's lit and then uh, th I'm a little backwards but you always want to wet the cap just a little bit and when you cut these you don't want to cut a whole lot you just cut just the littlest bit if you can see that where you cut just like that. Now, you have a good, nice cut, and you. Usually, I suck at lighting, so. So you can see how it's not quite fully lit all the way. So, what we'll do. There you go. See that? Nice and lit. And that's how you light a cigar. Um, the Sin Daddy way. Uh, it is however you light it, whatever makes you enjoy it the best. That's probably the best way to do it. But for me personally, out here in the Sin Cave, this works just fine. Um, now this... Uh, I've had a couple of my father's cigars, and they've been really, really, really fantastic. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to try this one. Now, when it comes to drawing, everybody should know at this point that you don't inhale a cigar. Do not inhale a cigar because it's just burning leaves. It's just more smoke in your system. You don't do that. It's not a cigar. So you taste it. And the way I taste it is what's called retrohaling. And the way you retrohale is, I'll just give you a demonstration. That's good. That's a really good cigar. So retrohaling is essentially you puff, you get your nice, get a nice draw, and you let probably I, I don't know if we're doing percentages, probably ninety percent of it out. 
The last 10% you blow, you close your mouth and blow through your nose because you get the rest of the flavors. Now, I'm relatively new at this, so my flavor profiles aren't super great, but it was honestly, to me, it was a lot like drinking beers. It was a lot like the first time I really took a foray into craft beers and stuff. Like, you didn't really notice any differences or intricacies. But uh, the more you do it, the more you get... Um, the more you notice things, you, the more you catch on to the little fruity notes or the spicy notes or what have you. For me, I'm, I'm finally starting to taste something besides the pepperiness, you know, because the spiciness of a cigar is what I'll hint to immediately, and then I won't be able to taste anything else. Uh, but I've started to actually see saliva, so much saliva when I smoke cigars. Oh, my God. But I've actually started to taste more and more and more the further more i'm smoking cigars the more different varieties because i'm treating it just like it's a trench roast podcast i'm drinking i'm smoking every fucking variety i could possibly find so uh yeah this has been the uh i don't know cigar cigars in 10 minutes with uh sin daddy um i think i'll probably do reviews here in the future for the page um just thought to give you an introduction to this um thanks everybody for hanging out uh Shout out to my son, Skyler, because he's going to smoke cigars with me, and I love him so much, and he's adorable. Shout out to Josh and Gertz for uh, really kicking off the, the uh, YouTube page so that I have something to do. And uh, yeah, see you later. Cheers. So I guess I should probably talk about <clears throat> the flavor on this bad boy. So... It's really creamy. It's really rich. Um, it's sort of, let me use beer terms, it's, it sort of reminds me of a nice, uh, honestly, a nice glass of Guinness, a stout, a, uh, a drought. So it's nice and smooth. It's got a really great draw on the cigar. It's wrapped really, really well. You see that nice, nice round ash. Um, I like the, I'm, I'm really digging on Nicaraguan's quite a bit. I feel like they're a bit more full flavored. Uh, yeah, I feel like they're a bit more full flavored. Mm. I can kind of get, so sort of at the end, I get a little bit of fruitiness to it. Just a little bit of fruitiness. Um, but mostly, obviously, I get a lot of the pepper. Very peppery up front. Tastes like a nice cup of coffee. Uh, like a nice, uh, fuck, I don't know, coffee. What, what do they order at Starbucks? The fancy shit. It's like a nice mocha. <clears throat> a nice cocoa flavor to it. Nothing. Mm. Mm. That's really good. That's a nice, smooth flavor. I like, it's got a really good burn to it, too, um, which apparently is an important thing in the cigar world. Fuck, I don't know. Just a death metal hillbilly. Um, but it's got a really great burn to it. It's got, they call it a stack and dimes, if you see that. It's got a nice, even burn. Uh, the draw is really, really good, which is very important. A tight draw sucks. Um, and maybe if I get one, I can show you how to fix that. You just do a nice little DIY method with a drill bit and a drill. But I like the draw on it. It's got a really, really great draw. Um, you know, it's not too much. It's not too little. It's not too fast. This is definitely a sit down and smoke for half an hour one, but we'll keep it short, obviously. Hmm. That's delicious. It's really good. So yeah, uh, like I said before, my father's cigars, really, really digging these suckers. Um, I had a, a Cuban classic the other day from my father's that was absolutely astonishing that I'm about to just go uh, buy a whole box of because it was just, 
nice mild bodied, nice, uh, it was a Connecticut rapper. Um, and it was just incredible. So yeah, I definitely give this cigar a fuck. Yeah. Um, try it out. Uh, if you like, definitely don't start out with this one. I will say, cause it is very strong. It is a very, very strong cigar. It's full, full bodied, everything like that. Um, it's like if you've, if you've only been, if you've never smoked a cigar before, if you've never had a beer, it's like going immediately to a fucking quadruple imperial stout. Like, maybe don't. Maybe start slower. Maybe start a little, little bit slower. Um, but for any anybody who's any any amount of time in cigars, you'll you'd really appreciate this one. And like I said, the Nicaraguan stuff I've really really been getting into. Uh, they just it tickle my fancy. It's almost like it's almost like drinking a really really thick stout. Um, Especially in the cold time. <sighs> See that nice smoke. Not too much at all. And honestly, it doesn't have much of a... Not too unique of a scent to it. But um, I'm a big, 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 big fan of this one. So yeah, check out My Father's Cigars. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube page and hit the bell notification so that you get uh, a notification first when we do our uh, shit that Josh and Gertz does, shit that Gertz does, you get Tobias Travels, you're going to have uh, the cigars and under, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to call this, I'll figure it out. You're, there, there'll be a title up there, that'll be the name of it. Thanks. Or maybe I won't name it and I'll let you guys name it. I don't fucking know. But, uh. Yeah, make sure you hit that like, like, subscribe, bell notification, and then go ahead and check out the Trans Bros podcast. We release every Thursday, and uh, yeah, on all your favorite streaming platforms, go rate and review. And until next time, we will all reunite again. <laughs>